Okay, guys, we are getting ready to run to under pressure. I haven't even showered yet, but uh, we have to go drop off the Porsche because it's getting exhaust cut off. So that's gonna be gnarly, but uh, yeah, no. Here are the two cars. So we gotta drive both of them. So I'm driving the Mercedes, my dad's driving the Porsche. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go drop them off real quick, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we just made it to under pressure. Looks like we got a R32 right here, maybe a Silt S chassis, then the Mercedes IS300, and then all the stuff they're working on is obviously in the shop, but you know. I'll show you guys, there's the R32, and I think that's a S chassis behind it. Oh yeah, this thing right here has an LS in it, I think it's turbo. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's that Mercedes, I think it's one of those employees' cars, and there's a clean IS300 back there, but you know, sweet. Got the Porsche right here, gonna go ahead and get in the shop, and yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's, gonna sound gnarly i've heard some clips with these things it's gonna sound insane but uh yeah no i'm freaking exhausted i literally just woke up and like rolled out of bed but gotta do what you gotta do all right uh, i think we're gonna go inside and uh yeah see you guys uh probably back at the house honestly it's like 15 minutes from our house it's not even that far Freaking ops rolled up. Freaking talking a whole lot of schmack because we were blocking the alleyway. Bruh. Okay. Man said a couple of cops over someone blocking the alleyway. Get a clue. But uh, yeah, no. There, Zach, the owner, has been battling freaking this alleyway thing and he's trying to put a fence up so they just can't drive through because it's literally like right in front of his shop. Like his shop doors is where it is and it literally is his property but they have the easement right so yeah whatever but now we're gonna go ahead and make some food real quick we just got a shower feeling good uh the weather is dog water outside right now hang on i don't know if you guys can tell but yeah it's pretty freaking gnarly but now we gotta order that rig set up for my phone today and then uh yeah I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing. I think we may be picking the Porsche back up today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, no, let's go ahead and eat because I'm freaking starving. Gavin says two minutes, I say a minute 45. See, a minute 45 is perfect, guy. Bruh, what are you doing? Minutes. Two minutes. Hot Pocket said two minutes. A minute 45 was the best way to cook it. <laughs> did you invent a hot pocket or the hot pocket because no. hot pocket says two minutes i invented when you're at a higher elevation than everybody else you lower it 15 seconds you know, paper plate it's a nice uh, silver you got along here. yeah i know living that bachelor life red solo cups it's a favorite bowl you don't even get a plate yeah we don't, we don't allow plates around here nothing's flat everything's round just like this mountain we live on yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Dude. That Don't thing is overcooked. It. Look, it's it's black, dude. It's this is a little spot. Dude. That it's thing not is a big deal, man. Way overcooked, my guy. No. No. What a mistake. Oh. A fork? Seems like you're eating his hot pocket with a fork? Yeah, it's like he's probably eating spaghetti with a spoon. Probably. Oh. <laughs> I wish I was just recording. Look at this. That's right. <laughs> You good, G? Hey, you good, Cuddy? <laughs> that dude just almost died. The white, the white vans are smoked. Damn, bro, I should have been wearing the boots. Perfect trail shoes. Oh, yeah. Clay. Clay while it's raining. 
best uh, combo right there. Smoked. This? Yeah. So we want to build a trail that goes all the way up right next to where the uh, 48 Chevy sits. That's where that's where the drop would be. We're exploring the vegetation. I know. Oh. Or up. <laughs> We're on an adventure. Oh. Holy. <laughs> Them chickens can go up and down or anything, eh? Fell. Oh, that tree is rotten. <laughs> He's out here battling trees for his life. Oh yeah, there's the fence. All right. Hey, we made it. Easy little hike. Oh shit. Oh. There's the 48, we're back gnarly. That thing will take you out. All right. Back to America. This is what America looks like. America. If you ain't got tires in the back of your 48 Chevy, then you ain't American. Look at the Beamer. I need to clean that thing up. Mercedes, Gavin's truck. Back to civilization. <laughs> Get out of here, guy. All right, let's get to work. All right, you guys, Gavin's heading home for a little bit, but he'll be back in a little while. He's gotta run home and change and pick up his girlfriend. Big Red. Hell yeah. All right, you guys, so we, uh, we decided that you're gonna end over here. So, so what we did is we blew out all this all the way over here. This still needs a lot of work, but uh, it says you're gonna be coming up. So you're gonna come from in between those two trees. You're gonna come down, drop up and over this. Down, we're gonna give her these bushes. You're gonna turn right here. It's gonna be like a berm. You're gonna ride up, ride up and over this, drop down, come this way, do this little dirt patch, come around through here we still got to finish covering all the bricks with dirt it's just really wet and this is clay so can't really stomp it down yet but you're gonna come here and then you'll just drop down and end on the dirt jump spot but gavin went ahead and uh put in this berm right here so it's easier to hit the double now so now you'll ride up up on the berm and then down you'll hit it better gavin also put this new lip in so it's just another option so this is the big table there's that lip and there's more aggressive lip. So you'll drop down from the grass, come up, it's pretty steep, and you'll land right there. So that should be fun. We're obviously not gonna ride none of this today just cause it's really wet out. But yeah, Gavin will be back in a little bit. And we'll probably work a little more and then probably call it for working on this stuff. But I still need to go start the YFZ up and check the coolant. So we're gonna go do that right now and eat some foods. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yo, dude, not the fresh powder. check the cold level because it should be cold i think this thing's full though so yep she's full all right 
So we're gonna go ahead and throw the uh, shroud back on just to get her all dialed in. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and throw the shroud back on and then uh, probably gonna wrap it up. Call it a night because it's like 12.30, so yeah. Let's throw you guys on the tripod. Alrighty, the bike is officially completely reassembled now. Got the coolant all dialed in. We'll always bring coolant with us just in case we need to fill it up, but I think it's fine. God, those red, those red freaking hoses look so clean. Oh yeah. God, I freaking, you guys, you guys do not understand how much I freaking love having a quad again. Like when I quit racing, you know, I was six, uh, was I 16? Yeah, I was 16, you know, high on driving, you know how it goes, just like so obsessed with cars and all that stuff, so I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm never gonna ride a quad again, and then I sold my race bike, and I was like, oh, shoot, now I have nothing to ride, and then two years later, well, like a couple months later, I was really regretting it, and I was freaking just like, damn, dude, I really miss riding, and here we are two years later, we got another freaking bike, let's go! We're gonna be racing. Uh, we're not gonna like stay true to a series though, probably. I'm not really in it for the championship points. I'm really just gonna be doing it now for fun. Um, that's honestly the best way to do it. Getting caught up in uh, like series and all that is super stressful. So uh, yeah, probably not gonna be doing none of that. Maybe we'll do it once, we'll see. But uh, yeah, no, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was all over the place. We went from cars to mountain bike building, bike parks, to now I'm just doing a little bit of touch up on the bike. But, uh, you know, we need to get this thing figured out. Guess what, you guys? I think Cody's coming over tomorrow and he's going to crash here because it's his birthday on Saturday. So we'll probably be doing something for that. I'm sure as hell not going to sit around on his birthday. We're going to be getting something done for sure. But maybe while he's over here, we can get this pit bike sorted out because he's like, He's a wizard when it comes to working on stuff, so that will be sick. But, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I freaking love making videos for you guys. It's so much fun, especially getting to edit it and then go back and watch it. Like, it's freaking awesome. But, uh, yeah, no, thank you guys for watching. That's going to end off today's video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.